My father taught me this song. Pretty, isn't it? I guess I'm feeling a little homesick. God, God, you are safe. Good fortune did not abandon us entirely. Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Foundry of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyra brings news that an agent of the enemy lurks in Vokelgard. Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of Menemarko. If it is truly an agent of Menemarko's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. Venture to Vokogard, speak to the fisher, Medea, and the jungler, Dirinor. It was on their lips that Lyris first heard the troubles lurking in the shadows. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. It's a fine day, isn't it? The fish are biting and the water is soothing. <laughs> this one thinks you're a bit strange, hmm? Kidding, kidding. I am thinking I did see an Imperial man lurking around by the lighthouse, like skittish prey. He thinks I do not see him, but this one has a keen eye. Very generous. The Imperial was very sneaky, but this one saw him slip inside the lighthouse with another man. Very thin and white, like a dead thing. They did not think Khajiit was watching, but this one has excellent peripheral vision. I hope you're not expecting a performance. I had to sell off my equipment and instruments just to make ends meet. Times are tough, my friend. Funny you should ask. There was an odd-looking Imperial fellow in town a few days ago. He was asking about local burial grounds. Said he was trying to track down his great-aunt's remains. Yeah, right. And I'm Queen Irene's Chamberlain. Last I saw him, he was heading towards the lighthouse. in your own homeland. What are you going to do? This one does not know, but he hopes his family is safe in the
You'll never leave this place alive! Why have you contacted me? This is Abner Tharn. The Master and I are very busy. This had better be important. Wait a moment. I don't know your face. Identify yourself immediately. Yes, your report, you insipid twit. What, did you contact me by accident? Well, out with it. I don't have all day. Your disguise is terrible, by the way. You look like a character from a bad adventure novel. Are they? I didn't think that Redguard has been had a single friend left. Not in this world, at any rate. Never fear. Sai Sahan is safely locked away. Even if they were to discover his location, attempting a rescue would be suicidal. Of course I do. But I'm not in the habit of revealing vital secrets to insipid lackeys. Now be gone. And if you contact me again without good reason, I shall contact your cell commander and have you properly thrashed for your ineptitude. You've returned. What have you found? Abnathan shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events, but for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Sahan. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abnathan. Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council, and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manimarko's toady. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire, and he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The Worm Cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. 
Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. Maybe. But what could we offer him? He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Kings. The five included Varen, myself, a red guard named Sai Sahan, Abner Tharn, and the traitor Manamarco. You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. But back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. It was Menemarco who convinced Varen to search for the Amulet of Kings. Varen wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Menemarco said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Varen into a true dragonborn. It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. Menemarco set us up. The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Varen. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. Manamarco convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Clivia as Empress Regent. But Manamarco was the true power behind the throne. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. Well, the legend says that the dragon fires were created from the blood of Akatosh and given to Saint Alessia. When a new emperor is crowned, they're supposed to relight them to prove that they're a true heir of Alessia, one of the dragonborn. It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil. I know it's a lot to take in. We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the Prophet. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. <laughs>